Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Equal Mining. Today I'm talking about my helium miner, my profitability, the antenna I'm using, the upgraded antenna I got, and also, most important, the topography of my area. Something I really didn't think about when I first bought my miner. I thought it'd be out of the box, plug and play, and I was gonna start earning rewards, but it wasn't. And it has been a stressful, uh, stressful four months trying to get this thing to work and to really uh, earn any rewards at all. A couple times I felt like taking this thing out back and, uh, there you go. Um, it's been it's been stressful as far as earnings go. Now the 4 dBi antenna, I was uh, transmitting packets, but I wasn't witnessing anybody. So I started thinking about it and started really looking at this. So let's take a look at my area. And as you can see, we'll use this uh, point here as a reference marker. Uh, if I come to Google Maps, you can f see that same area here. So I'm right in this area and you can see that the elevation in my area, green is a higher elevation and a significant one at that. The darker gray are more of the valleys. I don't want to say valleys as if it's, you know, this uh, ravine but it's definitely a very hilly area in North Carolina. Uh, if I was to scroll out, you can see some of um, the mountain ranges that are next to us. As you can see, the mountain ranges that goes up and down the whole country here, the uh, Appalachian. Uh, we are near the Black Mountains, and um, it's, uh, it's, it's very hilly in this area. You can see some of these higher elevations out there, uh, some right in here. But nonetheless, we're looking at this, uh, I'm looking at this, and I'm particularly looking at this little bit right here, which is unfortunate that it's right there because it's it's I'm in a position to really, you know, really take advantage of this area of miners. So when we look at that, we can see that um, this is that real hilly area between myself and Charlotte. So that's not going to work out for me. So I thought, well, if I'm here, I can look up the hill and I can get to these people here. The problem is that um, I am in, I am, when you enter into my community, it goes down uh, a very steep hill and I am about three quarters of the way down. So even though my house may stand this high near the bottom of that hill, uh, an antenna on top would only be shooting out and still hitting the hill as you get out of my community and then go into the neighborhoods around. So that was a problem. I really wasn't sure what to do. So I started looking at different antennas. I was looking at directional antennas, like you see a lot of these pictures, I'm sure you've seen this. This is really going for much greater distances. And I thought that perhaps I could use that antenna to shoot this direction and see these people but it's more of a straight line. And if I'm in a little bit of a valley, it's not gonna make it over that hill and that's gonna be a problem. So I started looking at the omnidirectional, ones that are a 365 degree uh, signal coming out of it rather than just in two directions as a focus. So I started with the 4 dBi stock antenna and I was really not getting anything uh, from uh, from mining. I mean, I was I was seeing the um, uh, 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 broadcast beacons. This is what I was seeing mostly from mine, and that was really it. I was getting nothing else. I think in the first four months, I earned about 25 cents in four months. Now, remember, I bought this, and it took seven months to get to me. I've had it for four months. So out of 11 months, I had made about 25 cents. So I decided I really needed a better antenna. So like I said, I started looking at it, started trying to figure out what the antenna would be. And I bought the 6 dBi omnidirectional. So going from the four to the six. Now with the 6 dBi omnidirectional, I'm able to see this guy now as a witness. And I am actually making a little money. In about 11 days, I've made $2.76. Granted, it's not a lot of money and, you know, it's uh, it's nothing to write home about, but it's a heck of a lot more than I was getting before. Now, if we look at this guy, this guy who's right near me, look at these witnesses from this guy. And he is making in, let's look at his 30 day. He just got antenna also. Looks like about two weeks ago, he got his antenna. 
and he's had it he's made um, total so far twenty three dollars and four cents so he's looking at about forty six dollars a month anywhere from forty five to fifty dollars a month so congratulations glorious wool oyster you made it um, and thank you for being my first witness uh, because it puts me on the map and I'm really excited to be on the map finally because I have been trying for a long while to get anything. Now, three sides of my house have windows. The east side does not, and this is the east side, which is not the end of the world, um, even though I thought it'd be nice to hit Charlotte. <laughs> but because of this hilly area here, I am not able to see Charlotte. Now, that guy I was just showing you, he is right here in this patch, right here. So he is on this hill, and on that hill, he is able to see overneath, oh, an overneath, over these hills and into Charlotte. Also, he's able to see past all of this and get down into South Carolina as well. He also goes north all the way up to Mount Holly and in the surrounding area. As you can see, this guy is everywhere over here. Let's see if we can get his... Uh, so you can see he's getting everybody in his area or several people in his area and he's really getting some good distance out here so and again that's because he is up on that hill and uh and well yeah he's uh here he is he's over here and he's really getting that great broadcast so he's really doing it for me though I thought that the gray area, I would be clear getting out of here, but as you see, it gets even darker down in here, and that's where I live, and that darker area means even lower elevation. So here's what I'm doing. I am looking at my miner, and I'm looking at getting and taking the 6 dBi omnidirectional antenna that I have. Right now, it's in my south window. Uh, this miner here is inactive, so I won't see him, but it's in the south window right now. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to move it to the north window and leave it there for a week, and then I'm going to move it to the west window and leave it there for a week. So this is going to be in, in stages. I'll see if I get any better results. If I get better results, uh, then I'll decide which side I should put it in. Uh, but then I was debating on whether I should jump up and get an 8 dBi omnidirectional antenna. Now that's going to be another 90 bucks with tax. So already into this for 550, I'm going to throw another 100 bucks at another antenna plus the 50 I spent to buy the 6 dBi antenna. But then at least I'll know which one's better. Now at that point, if it's making a considerable amount of money, I will just leave it in the window and let it do its thing. What I would love to do is put it up on the roof. If I was able to do that, I'd be able to get it up another 13 feet. Then with the extension pole uh, to have it mounted to the house is another foot by the time it comes up. So 13 feet will turn into 14 feet. A three foot antenna, it's a little over three feet, will turn into about 17, maybe 18 feet above the house. So I'm closing in on almost 20 feet above where I'm at right now. Excuse me, it won't be 20 feet above the house. It'll be 20 feet above where I'm at at this point, which is the antenna on the second floor in the window. And actually, I'm going to show you that video really quick. You got that right there. Uh, that is the, um, that's the playroom, and that's it in the window. And there's the miner and the other clip, which is this one. And that's going to be in the bedroom with the antenna in the window and the miner right there on the floor. Now, that's where I had it before when I was testing it out, but I only had it there for a couple days. Really, I need to leave it there for a while. When I did move the antenna to the window it's in now, it's been there for about two weeks, and we're actually seeing some really good results. So I'm thinking I'm going to need to leave it in these windows for about a week at a time to really see any result. So I'm going to put it in the window that's going to face this direction, uh, which will actually be over here facing in this direction. And then I'll put it in the window over here, looking out into this direction. <clears throat> like I said, if I can get any better results, I'll spend the extra money and buy the $90 antenna. <clears throat> With that $90 antenna, I'll put it in all three windows again at a week for each time. So now we're looking at a five-week testing point to get it in the window here, here, and here. Um, plus testing the 6 dBi one in the window here and here for a week each. So that's five weeks. 
And if I'm really getting some good signal and some really good witnessing, then I will drop the money to have it installed on the roof. The only problem there is that to get a handyman out here is probably going to be around 200 bucks. To get a handyman out these days, they're in such high demand. I, I tell you, they got to make more than doctors and lawyers right now because you can't get one out here. And if you want to have the simplest project done, they want 200 bucks just to come out. So to put an antenna up, I'm sure they're going to want 200 bucks. So 200 bucks for that. Then, of course, I got to drop the wire for the grounding wire because, of course, you want to have the wire grounded or the antenna grounded so nothing gets hit by lightning. And if you saw one of my other videos, I have a whole house surge protector I had installed when I had the miners and the ASICs all in the house. I decided to get that done. At the end of the video, I'll have a link right up over there. You can check that one out. It's a pretty good video. The whole house surge protector, of course, before you do any of these things, consult a licensed electrician. I am not one. So please don't take my word for anything that I talk about today when we talk about electric and wiring. Talk to a licensed electrician, but nonetheless, I will have to have my antenna grounded. Now on this side of the house, right where the peak of the house is, which works out conveniently, right above this window is right where the peak is, which is nice. I'll be able to put the antenna right there, drop the wire down, have the antenna come in through the window uh, and from the window directly to the miner. And then I'll just put a little foam around it because I've got that wood board here that I had painted and sealed up for the grow tent ventilation. I'll be able to just drill a little hole through that and have no problem. That'd be the simplest and best way to do it. Uh, then I'll have to drop that wire down to the ground and ground it. Perhaps you've seen a pole outside of your house. Maybe it sticks out of the ground about that far and it's got a screw on it with a green wire going into your house and that's your grounding one. That pole is like five feet long and it's driven down into the ground and that uh, helps ground your house or ground your panel so that if your house is hit by lightning or there's any problems, it dissipates and it's grounded. Um, so I will need to ground that as well. So that's going to be a few bucks. Plus, I also have to buy a wire because the wire that comes with this may only be 20 feet. And if I'm going to be coming down another 17 or 18 feet to get to the window, and then I have to have the wire come in and then get to the miner, I'm going to need another three, four, five feet on the inside. So I'm going to have to buy a 30 foot wire. So between the $200 installation, a 30 foot wire, let's say it's 30 bucks, Grounding wire, probably another 20 bucks. So you're looking at uh, you no know, uh, 30, a 20, and a 200 for 250, plus a $90 plus tax antenna, uh, another 100 bucks. So you're looking at $350 plus the antenna that I already bought. I'd be into it for $400 plus the miner for $550. You're up at $950. You're closing in at almost a thousand dollars. And all I've made so far is a dollar, uh, two dollars and seventy six cents, plus the twenty five cents I made before. So I've made about three dollars and one cent. And we're talking about dropping a thousand dollars into this project overall. So, no, I am not excited to do that. And I would love it to see in the comments down below if you're having similar situations, or do you live in an area that's very hilly, or is it flat and you are just witnessing the hell out of everything and you're just rolling in the cash. Because my friends, I am not. Um, I wish I could have great videos that just showed, you know, money raining down on me and, you know, I'm blowing it out of the water here. But you know what? This is reality and this is just the, the, the facts. So, um, you know, uh, yeah, not always uh, rainbows and unicorns over here at Euclid Mining. But I'm, I'm doing, doing the best I can for this and putting the time in when I can. I haven't put a lot of time into this because at 25 cents that I had earned in four months, I really hadn't put a whole lot, a lot of stock into this. And actually, at one point, I even thought about listing this thing and just selling it and saying to hell with it. Try to get three, four, five hundred dollars for this thing and just get out. But then I bought the other antenna and then all of a sudden, bam, I'm witnessing. I'm actually seeing somebody. It was... It just reinvigorated me to get back into this and um, and try more. So here's the stages. It's basically a five week process as I'm looking. Right now, the antenna is in a window on this side of the house. I was hoping to hit this one, this one and anybody else down here. Excuse me, I had a Euro just a little while ago from this Greek place up the road. It was delicious. 
This guy here, though, he is not active. He is inactive, so I have no hope for him. So I don't have any windows on the east side of my house. Like I said, no big deal because it's all hilly over here, and I probably wouldn't get that far. So um, I want to put the antenna on the north side and the west side. If I put it on the west side, perhaps I'll catch more. Uh, if I put it in the north side, perhaps I'll catch maybe some of these up in this region. Um, it's really just getting up that hill is the biggest problem right now. But I'm going to try that with the 6 dBi. So I'll do a week and a week, two weeks, and see if I get any better results. If I do get better results, it'll encourage me to go out and buy the $90 antenna. Like I said, probably more like $100 for that antenna. So I'll buy a $100 antenna and put that in the window. And of course, I'll try that in the three windows. Uh, the south one, I may not even bother with just because of the situation, but I probably should try it at least. I'll put it up here in the north and of course in the west and see if it does any better. And then if it does well enough, I may just leave it in the window and forget about it. But if it does really well, it's like a catch-22. <coughs> I, I, I want it to do good, but if it does too good, then I have to spend more money to install it on the side of the house, which just is what I don't want to do is spend more money. Um, but if it does better, then of course I almost have to. So it's like, if it does bad, then I'll just leave it in the window. And if it does good, then I'm stuck going even further into this project. So once I see what the six DBI does here in the North and the West, if it does any better, then I will go ahead and get the 8 dBi. The 8 dBi omnidirectional, I'll put uh, looking out here, here, and here, and see if it does better than the 6 dBi. And if it does, then I'll look to mounting it on the side of the house. So the directional antennas were not the option for me, um, only because of the valley that I'm in. You can see that I have to go uphill to get out of here and it would just be blocked by the hill. So if the hill goes like this up and my house, the top of my house is further down the hill, uh, but the top is here and I have an antenna on top directional, it's just gonna go straight out. It's gonna hit that hill and I need to get above that hill and go up that way. And I'm not gonna be able to make that. So the directional antenna for me is not the option. If I was in a remote area perhaps, or more of a level area and I wanted to reach a bigger city to hit more people or something like that, then maybe a directional antenna. Instead, I am gonna go with the omnidirectional, the 365 degree antenna. And uh, I am going to go in that direction instead. I'm pretty sure that's the direction for me that I'm going to go in. And by doing that, hopefully I will catch these people and I'll catch everybody once it's mounted up on the house. But first, I want to put the 6 dBi here and here. Then if it does well, get the 8 dBi, put it here, here, and here on these sides of the house. And then if that does a little bit better, then I will pull the trigger and I'll put it on the side of the house that's over here. But it won't matter because it'll be at the roof of the house and above the peak of the house. It'll be above the house. So it really wouldn't matter which side of the house it was on technically. It just happens to be that the peak is on this side of the house right below this window and a perfect spot to put the miner right here in the corner. And the ground pole is directly beneath me unless I can run that wire in the house and ground it to one of the electrical boxes um, and save me a buck in wire instead of dropping it all the way down. I also gotta figure out how I'm gonna tack this wire to the side of the house and make it look not as noticeable that I have some giant wire running down the side of my house. But we'll see, and if I can get away with it, um, you know, uh, maybe disguising it just a little bit better. Uh, we'll cross that bridge when I get there. At first, though, like I said, I do have a little testing to do. If I move it to the two other sides, that's two weeks. And then if I get the 8 DBI, that's another three weeks. And I know I'm probably putting more effort into this than I probably should at this point. But I am reinvigorated, like I said, because of the $2.76 that I made. Toss on that extra quarter. And I'm at 301 for the 11 months that I've had this miner. I'm into it for 600 ish dollars so uh i've got a long road ahead but we'll see what happens so look if you want to watch that whole house surge protector video i'm gonna have a link for it right up over there of course i'd love to see in the comments down below anything you're doing with your miner or the antennas that you're using you can hit them down below and of course if you want to help support the channel you can hit that button it's right over there thanks for checking in and i'll see you all next time